what did I just watch? I don't even know if I just watched a game of football. Um, that might have been the worst game of football I think I've ever watched in my life. I don't even know if that was football that I just watched or if that was something else. But you know what, boys? You want to know what makes me feel better? You drop a sub down below on the channel. Appreciate it, boys. We have Cowboys reactions that come out every single week after all the games, plus other kind of reactions that are going to be coming out. So make sure to drop a sub down below. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to drop a like down below as well. Show some support. I appreciate that, guys, a lot. Um, but you guys know how this shit goes. Usually the Cowboys-Eagles rivalry are some of the best games of the NFL season. They always play them on Sunday nights. But usually the thing about it is that the team's combined record isn't 5-10-1. Um, you know, the Cowboys are two and six and the Eagles are three, four and one. So it is kind of disappointing to see that kind of stuff. I did expect it to be like a little bit more competitive than it actually was. And, um, it's kind of weird how like the game was close the whole time, but I feel like neither team was being competitive. I don't know if I'm the only one that thinks that, but it's actually crazy how like both teams were just so awful, like it's beyond awful. I couldn't even like... I was losing brain cells watching that game. I didn't even know what I was watching. It was, like, actually crazy. I've never seen a game that bad, I feel. Like, some teams are just not good. Like, I feel like the Jets, like, they're just not a good team. But I feel like, like, the Cowboys and Eagles and, like, that division just isn't competent as a football team. Like, I just feel like they don't even know how to play football. I think we're going to go 2-14. and 14. I'm still going to make a reaction after every single game because that's kind of my way to go. But I still think we're going to lose out. I really don't see us winning another game. That, like, it's... It was the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, uh, it, the saddest thing. I want to, like, sit here and cry about it because it was the saddest game I've ever seen. In my personal opinion, I feel like um, they're going to end up changing something about the playoffs. Not this year, but I feel like at some point there's going to be some kind of rule opposed to uh, change up the playoff format to where divisions don't need to be, like, a deciding factor. And if you get a home playoff game, I feel like they're still going to have to make it, like, a playoff game. But I feel like the better record is probably going to, I don't know, they're going to change it up to where the home playoff game just shouldn't be as significant as it really is. Because um, it's just, I don't know, I feel like us, like, one of these teams getting a home playoff game, probably being the Eagles is kind of unfortunate. But my initial thoughts on the actual game itself, Ben DiNucci played better than Carson Wentz. I can't even believe I'm saying that, but he actually did. Like, he didn't actually, like, he didn't have, like, a better game, but he technically, like, stats-wise, he actually outdid him. Ben DiNucci had 180 yards. Carson Wentz had 123, two touchdowns, two picks. That's, like, beyond, like, beyond me. I can't even believe that. Um, The only problem was that Boston Scott, out of any running back, was, like, running all over our defense. But, I mean, that's kind of a regular thing. Um, I'm surprised the Eagles didn't run the ball, like, every single play because, like, they were going crazy on the run. Like, they just, I don't know. I, I feel like every single play was, like, a 5, 10-yard gain every single time they ran the ball. Um, So, I don't even know why Carson Wentz was still throwing the ball. But uh, Trayvon Diggs actually did play a decent game. Um, I know he's kind of had a lot of ups and downs, but I think he'll be at least pretty solid. Um, but honestly, you know, I'm not going to lie. I feel like out of any of the Cowboys games I've watched that, like, once we stopped being competitive, I feel as if uh, it was one of the more fun games to watch, like, the first half, I feel, because we were running a lot of trick plays and we were doing a lot of weird stuff here and there. And honestly, I thought it was kind of funny. Like, I actually enjoyed watching it because, like, you can tell that the Cowboys coaches know that our team is so trash. So, like, they're kind of just doing whatever they got to do. You know what I mean? So, I really do respect it in that case. I still feel like Mike Nolan's got to go. I feel like our defense is actually really trash. But our offense did not do anything to help the defense last night whatsoever. So, at least now we can see how valuable Dak really is to our team and how much we actually do need him because, uh... Obviously, before we were so up and down about giving him a contract, but at least now we know we need to give him a contract because we need him. Like, we need, need, need him really bad. And yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen this already or not, but if you guys want to go through it real quick, these were the stats from the game. Like I said, if you guys haven't seen the full stats and such, um, Ben DiNucci, like I said, 180. He went 21 for 40, outplayed Carson Wentz. Essentially, on the stat sheet, he did. I mean, Carson Wentz did not do much. I'm really not going to lie. Travis Fulgham was really the only receiver on that team that actually would do anything for them. They were getting constant pressure. Like, our offensive line is, like, the worst offensive line I've ever seen either. Like, it's just, like, everything is just so bad. Tony Pollard is, like, outplaying Zeke. I feel like Zeke's not even a top five running back anymore. You can you can dispute that in the comments if you want to, but I'll, I'll tell you right now, there are definitely at least five running backs in the NFL better than Zeke right now, and I hate to say it, but it's just true. 
Um, I know that line is really bad. Don't get me wrong. I know that line is bad, but trust me, it's like it, he just he's not the same right now. But yeah, if you wanted to split down in the comments, I'll give you my top five. I said, I even posted on Twitter. I'll pull it up on Twitter right now. This is what I said on Twitter. I said, Derrick Henry, Christian McCaffrey, Saquon, Cook, and Kamara. I feel like these running backs are all better than Zeke. I feel like they have more of an impact on a game than Zeke does. And, you know, you know, shout out to Jack, Shom, and Dill. You guys are in the video. But, yeah, I... Uh, I feel like these running backs are better than Zeke. If you guys want to argue about that, you definitely can. I'm a Cowboys fan, so, you know, of course, I can be a little biased towards Zeke. But uh, I just feel like he hasn't been the same. Hopefully, you guys agree with me on that. If you don't, like I said, make sure to drop a comment down below. I'd be glad to talk about it. Yeah, outside of that thought, that's pretty much my thoughts on the game. I mean, I thought it was a pretty entertaining game in the first half or so. But I think after that, it was, like, really boring. It was kind of, like, funny to watch because, like, both teams are really, really bad. Uh, so that was kind of entertaining, but outside of that, I mean, it was pretty much a joke. The division's a joke. The team's a joke. Everything's kind of a joke this year. Um, I don't really know what to think about it, but you know, life goes on. We see the Steelers next year. I mean, we see the Steelers next week. So you know, hopefully we don't lose by like 35 in that game. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, guys, honestly, um, appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any kind of thoughts or pro like you know things going on about the game, then let me know. Make sure to drop a sub down below. But hopefully you guys enjoyed and peace.